I've had the pleasure of working with you guys over the past few months, so super excited to dig a little deeper into the future of our partnership and our shared vision of an interoperable um, future. So with that, um, if you guys could both introduce yourself, a brief overview of, of who you are and what company you're with. Okay, so I'm Georgos, uh, co-founder of Axelar. Just some uh, quick story, personally. Um, I was part of the founding team of uh, Algorand back in the day, one of the first proof-of-stake blockchains. We launched, and I was very familiar with uh, your team back when the whole team was at Facebook uh, working on the Libra project because they were building some of the innovations on the consensus side. I was working on consensus as well. They were doing the hot stuff protocol back in the day, and it's just amazing to see all of the progress they've made over the last few years. I think it's safe to say now that the Mist and Labs team is at the forefront of innovation on the consensus protocol, and to me, you know, they're the clear leader in consensus design, so very excited to be working with your team. Um, so Axelar itself started as a, an idea when we were building Algorand, and when we launched Algorand, we recognized how hard it is to onboard new users to a blockchain, especially a non-EVM blockchain. Right? You don't have MetaMask. It's very hard to onboard any application that's, that's non-EVM. And our idea was to start Axelar to connect all chains, not just Algorand. Right? So uh, allow a developer to build anywhere, but be, allow any user from any, from any blockchain you know, using any asset to, to access that application. Right? So we built Axelar to build a layer that can connect virtually any blockchain. Mm -hmm. It's blockchain agnostic. We have 60 plus blockchains a day. And it's built as a messaging layer. It's built as a platform on top of which you can build any cross-chain application. And that's what Squid did very recently with their application. And I'll pass it to Fig to talk a little bit how they're leveraging Axelar and what, what they're doing. Yeah, thanks for having us. Um, my name is Fig, one of the co-founders of Squid. Uh, I'm an engineer, built some trading bots uh, to get into crypto, and then got more interested in the infrastructure layer and DeFi, and really excited by what Axelar were building really early on. And it became really obvious to us um, in 2020 when Ethereum was getting adoption, new chains were popping up. And it wasn't just about scaling crypto, but actually innovating at the base layer, like Yorgos was saying. So you know, SWE is a perfect example of this. It's not just an EVM, another roll-up, which is identical to everything else. It's new technology that provides new use cases for builders to build with. And I was building DeFi at the time, and it was really clear that you don't just need messaging to be able to uh, build cross-chain cross applications, but you actually need programmable money. And a cross-chain, you know, USDC on SWE is not the same as USDC on Ethereum. So you need a swap to get between them. And then multiply that by the hundreds or thousands of chains that we already have. Squid built a layer which allows you to swap between any token on any chain, but also call any contract on any chain. So. We're a set of developer tools. We're a front-end platform for people to use to bridge. Um, we're working with hundreds of projects, and yeah, really excited to be launching this week. Great, thank you. And then, um, could one of you guys di dive a little bit deeper of how Axelar and Squid are connected? How you guys actually work together? Yeah, so Axelar itself is a platform, right? At the base, Axelar is passing messages from one chain to another, and using this messaging layer, you can build applications like Squid. Right? So Squid can implement cross-chain swaps where, as a user, let's say you can send some funds on the Ethereum side. The funds would get locked in a contract. A message would be passed to SUI, where another contract would unlock the funds and send it to the user. Right? But that's just one application you can build on top of Axelar. You can also imagine leveraging Squid to build cross-chain lending, where a user collateralizes some asset on Ethereum, Squid bridges the asset over, and uh, it's used to like open a position on uh, SUI, right? So you can get a loan, uh, or the other way around, right? Like we had, we just had Nick on the stage talking about uh, AUSD that's going to be launching on SUI soon. You should be able to collateralize an asset like AUSD on SUI and get a loan on any asset on any other chain. You could use Axelar as the messaging layer and Squid as the liquidity layer. Awesome. Covered it. <laughs> And um, when we talk about SWE from a technical perspective, we often differentiate ourselves from programmability to performance to developer experience. So as you've been integrating with SWE, and initially, what um, attracted you to SWE? I'll start with you, Fig. I think speed really stands out. And the, uh, the topic before us talking about uh, order books and perpetuals on SWE is a like, perfect example. Like, <coughs> 
I think that AMMs are really an amazing technology, but order books are really, you know, that's where the pros in, tra in TradFi are trading. So having DeepBook, we'll talk about it later, I'm sure, uh, on Sui allows us to do much more sophisticated swaps across chains. And we're able to leverage Axla, who has a huge network of chains supported. And then specifically the order book technology on Sui, you can access that from any chain. So I think that's really exciting. That's, that's what's driven us towards Sui. Absolutely, and I definitely want to dig more into DeepBook, but Yorgos, would love to hear um, from a technical perspective what, what attracted you to Sui. A lot of things, and uh, I think just something a bit more forward-looking, because the delta is very big, right? I feel like the delta between Sui and some of these other blockchains is very big, but there's not enough things being built today, so it's not that evident. But imagine a future where you know how people today, like, uh, you know, they go and deploy some applications with things like Cursor AI, you know, it's, it's very easy to deploy applications. It will be very easy to even deploy smart contract applications in the future without knowing any code, right? You won't even have to be a developer. So one interesting direction is potentially one where you go and deploy a smart contract on SWE without, you know, without writing any code. But I feel like SWE will have a big advantage there because the language is just very well structured, right? And imagine you will be able to deploy an application and with formal verification methods be able to audit the application and prove that it's correct. SWE is going to be able to do this much, much earlier than you know, Solidity developer that will be able to do this with Solidity, right? And at that point, I think you just win immediately. So I do think there's going to be like a pivotal moment in time, especially like with all the growth in AI, where all the advantages of move will become more pronounced. And I think there's going to be like a moment that your team can capitalize on. I don't know how far this is going to be, but I feel like it's going to be really, really easy to build with Sui in the near future. I agree. I agree. OK, so going back to, to DeepBook, the Sui community, and especially the DeepBook community, is hearing a lot about DeepBook recently. And DeepBook, as you know, is our on-chain order book. It has ultra low predictable cost. It is lightning fast settlement. It has deep liquidity. Um, so what has DeepBook enabled for Squid and Axelar? So for us, it's the combination of the liquidity, which um, if you think about as we are chains, our mission is to make an interface where users interact with crypto as if they're on Binance uh, or Coinbase, they're swapping assets, and they don't even necessarily know that they're going between chains. So we have to swap between, say, ETH on Ethereum to, uh, say, BNB on BNB chain. And we want to find the best liquidity for that in the entire world. So get them the best price, no matter what blockchain, no matter what market maker. And what that ends up looking like is it's, you've got Sui's deep book competing with liquidity for Uniswap, for you know, another uh, exchange somewhere else. And because of the, uh, the speed and like, the depth of liquidity and the cheapness, I think that you're going to see a lot of liquidity running through Sui and then back. Uh, out into other chains. So you can sort of route through the most efficient decks on any chain. This is something very specific to Squid. Um, and order books, as I said before, much more efficient than AMMs. Yep. So it's going to bring more sophisticated market makers on board. Um, we can get more assets with less inventory on chain. A bunch of it. So it sounds like it also helps the fragmentation um, yeah. problem. Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay. Yeah, there's. With AMMs, we need at least twice as many assets to be able to do the same thing. And bridging is known for having issues with fragmentation, and order books are the antidote to this. Okay. Anything to add, Jorgos? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, Fig covered it, but you know, we've been working super closely with Squid, just helping them set up liquidity pools everywhere. And one thing that's very painful is that we always have to work with AMMs, mm -hmm. right? And when you have AMMs, Unfortunately, it's, it's very hard to have deep liquidity at good rates, right? So with deep book, you can literally have order books. You can have like optimal competitive rates, right? What you can get on centralized exchanges, which will allow users to onboard massive amounts of liquidity to the chain, right? So I think the big unlock is that you can have arbitrary amounts of liquidity as long as you have the market makers and the demand so that everyone can onboard to the chain. And again, this is going to be very important with new assets like AUSD how are go users going to onboard? Right. Especially given most users on Ethereum, they hold like USDC, USDT, ETH. We need to have a pair between some of these new assets like AUSD that are going to be very prominent in the ecosystem and you know, USDC, USDT. 
So we're spending a lot of time you know, making sure market makers are going to be available there. We'll have liquidity, and you can onboard users easily with one click to any asset on SUI, right? And for arbitrary size. So I think a lot of the growth will come from centralized exchanges and all these on-ramps that will allow people to onboard. But we need the decentralized on-ramps because, after all, you are building a DeFi ecosystem. You do want to onboard the DeFi users, and all of them are on the EVM side today, right? So we're making as, as easy as possible for SUI to onboard users, to onboard all the DeFi users that today are on Ethereum and Solana. Great. And there's a lot of builders here. I know personally a lot of people have come up to me really excited to get involved with Axlar and Squid. Um, so just what are some cool ideas or some inspiration for the builders here um, to leverage the Squid, Axlar, and Deepbook synergies? Anything where money's involved is where we're useful, I think. Um, you think about if you're building an application on Sui and you want to get any user in crypto, even outside crypto, to access your application in one click. That's where we're really powerful. So if you're building NFTs, you can do payments from any token on any chain. They can log in with MetaMask and in one click spend their USDC on Arbitrum. Or lending, we talked about before. You can build lending markets so that um, you can give the best yield to any user on any chain. Just the basic, any crypto use case generally involves money, and that's where you know, Squid and Axla are perfect comp uh, composability dev tools that you put inside your application. Yeah, really, any, any DeFi use case, well, any, any use case in general, but we haven't seen that much with cross chain NFTs, so if you know anyone doing cross chain NFTs, let me know. But uh, in general, like, interoperability is about user experience, mm -hmm. right? We're not enabling any novel new powerful use cases. Right? All the use cases will be built on the platforms like SUI by all the amazing builders that we have here. What Axelar and Squid really enable is seamless user experience in a world of fragmented liquidity, fragmented chains, and developer experiences. Right? So as a simple example conceptually, imagine you're, uh, let's say, the Aftermath team. Right? And like you have some exchange on uh, SUI that has some benefits when compared to um, you know, the DVM, the their EVM counterparts. Mm -hmm. You will be able to build a user experience where a user holds some asset on Ethereum, and they can go to their MetaMask, they should be able to connect to your application, issue a transaction, and under the hood, the asset gets bridged over from Ethereum to SUI, they open a position in your application, and they never even have to hold a SUI wallet, right? They can do it all from their liquidity hub mm -hmm. on Ethereum. So it's really access any application from anywhere. And uh, just to give you a concrete example of something we're working on with Squid and with DeepBook and uh, with the support of the Mission Labs team is a global liquidity hub from any chain, right? So imagine a user wants to go from Ethereum to Solana, right? Start with ETH and then with, uh, and with Sol. We need the liquidity hub to do the swap somewhere, right? So the most efficient place today to do this from a technological perspective, is the book, right? because it's going to offer the best rates. So we can set up a pool between ETH and SOL, and it actually doesn't even need that much liquidity, right? because remember, it's market makers doing that. And a user deposits some ETH on the Ethereum side, it gets bridged over to SUI, swapped over to SOL, and gets deposited on Solana. Right? So we have an opportunity to make the book a global liquidity layer, not just for SUI, but for users transacting on all other chains, right? And that's really the opportunity that we unlock with Axelar X Squid. And that, yeah, that's, we are definitely very excited about that. Um, a huge goal of ours as well. Um, all right, and so we have the, you guys have the Interop Summit coming up on Thursday. It's also co-hosted by Deepbook and, and SWE as well. So you have an opportunity to learn more um, if you're, you're interested in the con this conversation, interested in this topic. And um, you guys will be sticking around a little bit, right? So feel free to, to chat with Yorgos, Fig, and, and myself. Um, and that's it. Thank you guys so much for coming. I think this has been a really insightful conversation. So thank you. Thanks for having us.